welcome to the very first video that you guys are seeing ever on my brand new channel. So, if you guys are here, you're most likely from my AliFX channel, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, maybe even Facebook. Who knows at this point but this is my brand new channel this is gonna be a channel where I do not let the number behind my name dictate what I post if I want to post a short film I'm gonna post a short film if I want to post gaming I will post gaming if I want to react to something I'm gonna do that too so pretty much anything that I feel like posting or making I won't hold back I'm just gonna post it I'm gonna do it and I know I could do that on my main channel but the thing about my main channel is it's really inactive and it's really depressing. So it's gonna be kind of fun to have a clean slate to work on and just overall have fun with. So I'm really excited to be able to do this. So with that, I didn't want this video to be completely a video where I just talk about what I plan on doing. I kind of just want to jump right into it and talk about something. Because I totally know there's gonna be people here completely curious and just oblivious to how old I am and maybe I can clickbait my tattoos. That's that's a dead ass thought I had in my head. I have to sneeze. <clears throat> so with that, I'm going to explain to you guys what my tattoos are, when I got them, what they mean, all that fun stuff, and kind of guide you through my ink. So we're gonna start with the very first tattoos I got. Um, I did get them when I was 14, so it's the title's kind of half true, a little bit more truthful than you all think. But yes, I got my first tattoos when I was 14. The only reason why I got them was because they were super meaningful. My mom was sick and I got them with my mom, meaning she has the exact or had the exact same tattoos and we got them at the same time, same place. And uh, yeah, so first tattoo is stay strong on this wrist. And then I have never stop fighting on this wrist. Obviously, stay strong was for me because my mom was really sick, so I was to stay strong and uh, kind of keep my shit together. <laughs> and the never stop fighting one was for her because she was the one that was sick. She was to never stop fighting and, you know, keep battling her battles and keep on going. Keep plugging along. My third tattoo was actually this one. Um, it's my mom's memorial tattoo. It's a rose because I like roses. And then her birthday and death date. After that one... I got my mom's writing, um, it says love you in her handwriting right there. And so at this point I'm kind of turning into a shrine of my mother, so I decided to get a few tattoos for myself, which would be these roses, I got them all at once. I love them, I like my roses. I got three. No idea why I got three, I just did because it looks nice. Not every tattoo needs to have a meaning and people just seem to forget that. Um, I literally got roses because I like roses, that's literally it. After that. I started this one right here. It goes from the side of the roses to like the side right here. And I got another rose surprise, a camera, some film, some lace, a jewel, and it kind of just looked really pretty again. So I got it. Obviously I really like cameras and film and photography. So that's why I got that. Um, moving on, I got a compass right here, some waves, and then another rose to kind of fill it in. To be honest, this tattoo right here was just a gap filler. Um, I did get the compass because uh, if I get the opportunity to travel, it's a reminder to do it and not be a wuss because I'm scared of planes. So that's why I got the compass there. The waves looked pretty. Um, I feel like they could have been a little bit better, but I did have this lace that was trying to be dodged. Um, I kind of wanted just to tattoo right over it and just go with it, but the artist decided to not go over it. Could have been better, but I'm not complaining. I really like them. After that one, that tattoo, I want one with my best friend. Her name's Darcy. Um, we got matching roses. Um, again, another rose. So basically what this rose means is absolutely nothing. <laughs> We liked this movie when we were younger. Like, when I say liked, I mean every time we had a sleepover, we watched this stupid movie. It was called I Know You, I Know Who Killed Me, and it has Lindsay Lohan in it. And basically, she's, like, abducted, like, almost murdered. Like, her limbs are being chopped off and stuff. And um, we really liked that movie for some reason. And every time we had a sleepover, we watched it and freaked ourselves out. So, um, the theme, something that was really common in the movie was blue, um, especially a blue rose. That is why we got a blue rose. Hey. Hi. Where'd you find a blue rose? 
that is one of my favorite tattoos like it I feel like it's so well done the line work is amazing and it's with one of my best friends so I like it a lot okay, I swear every video that I post from this point on this little fart is gonna ruin it by opening the door <laughs> you're just so cute though so I can't even be mad I just sat down to edit this video and I actually realized that I forgot to show you guys a tattoo. Uh, I think I forgot because it still hasn't sunk in as to what it's about. Um, but right here on my wrist, I have my brother's birthday or birth year and death year. And that's his writing. So I, I have that one as well. And that is my most recent tattoo. But. I kind of just slipped my mind and talk about it because I don't want to be sad or anything. But that is my, my tattoo for my brother Robert. Those are my tattoos. Um, this is my new channel. So if you are here and you have not subscribed, make sure you do that. Uh, hit the bell beside the sub button so you get notifications when I do upload to this channel. And with that, I appreciate you guys for being here. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video. Have a good night.